it's a whiteout. What's going on, peeps? Welcome back to the Juicy Vapor channel. I'm Chef Andy, your guy for DIY, and today we are making fruit punch. Hmm, I love fruit flavors. So we're going to go ahead and make a big batch with this here because uh, i got to reorder some new stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and make a bigger batch than normal for me anyway. Um, so we're going to do some fruit punch here. And if you'll bear with me, we're going to get set up uh, to go ahead and get this done. This recipe is actually not that hard to do. It is fairly simple. We're only using one ingredient. That's it. As far as flavors go, we're just using fruit punch and fruit punch only and uh, that'll be it so like I said bear with me just a sec here got to get the gloves on you cannot you cannot not put gloves on it, as far as safety goes um, you know the uh, I love putting these on they're just a, a chore right but my kid can put them on with no problem but I like these here, the blue gloves, simply because if you get a cut or something and the blood comes out, you could see it pretty easy. Um, so, you know, but more importantly, these gloves here, uh, as I was saying, with, when anytime you're working with chemicals, it could be hazardous. And you might ask, what is a hazardous chemical that you vape? So, here's the dealio. Uh, we're going to be using nicotine. Now, nicotine in very low doses can actually have some benefits. Uh, and perhaps one of these days I'll put some of the benefits here at the end of the video or down below. Um, in small doses, it can have some, some uh, uh, benefits, but, but, but. Um, direct contact with too much of it, and you could get everything from rashes on down the line. Uh, so you want to make sure that you use it judiciously and safely. Uh, what I like to do is use the 24% concentrate because it uh, reduces the opportunity to uh, handle toxic levels, if you will. Uh, as the old saying goes, anything in moderation, right? Okay. So let me flip over. Um, I use a program to calculate exactly how much of each chemical I should use and that is e-juice me up uh, you can google that it's called e-juice me up it's a calculator fairly simple to uh, use you just put in the numbers your desired numbers that you want hit calculate and it'll tell you exactly what to enter in there or I'm sorry not enter in there but to pour out to make the perfect dose or flavor for you uh, it also has some generic uh, um, pardon me some generic recipes in there that you could pull up and those are meant to be a jumping off point from you uh, but as I always say no two vapors are alike so um, first you just kind of learn how to do the DIY but then after you get to know everything, you can kind of manipulate things or tweak them a little bit to better flavor your palate, if that makes sense. Does it? One more, and we'll get going here. Yes, yes. Dun, 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 dun. And this here is my wonderful wonderful cherry bomber what's kind of cool is it says the F word right here and it says all cloners but this is a clone cool <laughs> um, it works I actually have the real deal and uh, and I have a clone and there's really not much difference except for cost um, alright so we're back into the program here I've already taken the liberty uh, putting in what I want um, again I'll take a screenshot and then maybe uh, put it down below uh, so that you guys can all kind of get to see what it looks like so I'm gonna be making a bigger batch as I said than normal pardon me um, 
I normally will make 30 milliliters. Today we're going to go ahead and make 60. And then we're going to put them into the bigger bottle here that I'll put over here for just right now. Um, so I like about a 3 to a 9 milligrams for nicotine. Uh, I used to smoke for 20 years, pack a day or more, and I've been 5 plus years tobacco free. So uh, originally I started out with a little bit higher dosages uh, around the uh, 16 to 20 area, um, but now I still like a little bit of nicotine, uh, but now I, I, I have it in the smaller ranges. And if you're, if you're a smoker and you're thinking about quitting smoking, this is a wonderful time uh, and way to do it without going through all the, first of all, some of us used to have the hand of mouth habit. Uh, on the other hand, a lot of us just the chemical part. So when you strip away all the, uh, all the uh, tar and other toxins that are in cigarettes and you're left with something more pure that can help you, that's a good thing, and I recommend it. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled program. Um, so we got, I have six milligrams, and again, I said I, I'm using a 24% concentrate, so it's telling me that I need uh, 15 milliliters, and I've already, if you can see, I've already measured that out. This is a 30 uh, milligram bottle, I'm sorry, milliliter bottle, right? and so it says we need 15. Now I'm starting to use a little cup that has all the measurements in there so we can get a little more precise and then I have a funnel at top so that we get it in there and try not to uh, overdo it and spill or whatever. Alright, it says I need 15 which is the first line on there now nicotine is pretty thick so it's not going to do so well with the syringes but I put a dropper in there and I have kind of know where that dropper is with the one milliliter so I've done all the footwork okay we're gonna let that pour for just a second out because again it's really thick and sure enough as advertised you can look down there the first line right and you'll see that it's right at that 15 mark so I'm gonna again just let this go ahead and finish pouring out a little bit now that I know now that I know uh, we're at the right mark I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the bottle what I'll probably end up doing is getting a couple more of these so I can uh, measure everything individually but this won't be what you call cross-contamination because it's the same chemical going into the bottle uh, so you're okay what you don't want to do is mix up stuff and accidentally start going up the, the ladder and, and, and you miss uh, read your measurements all right that's not something you want to do, uh, especially if you're making several different flavors. In my case, we're only making one flavor today, Fruit Punch. Um, all right, since I've got this up, what I like to do is one drop per every uh, one milliliter. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put six drops, one for every milliliter, which we're making 60. Okay, one, two three, four, five, six. All right. Again, we're going to put this aside. Bring this back around over here. And, uh, all right. So the recipe also calls for the flavor of nine. Now, I already made a batch prior to this, but it was just a tester batch which I always do when I buy from a separate company because when you're buying from one company they might vary a little bit uh, so you always kind of have to know where you're at so as you can see I'm already one milliliter down on a 10 milliliter bottle right so 
I'm just going to go ahead and put the funnel back into the bottle, and we're just going to use the whole thing. Okay? That'll cover that. Now, what we have is 17 and a half uh, times 2 because I'm using a VG PG 50 50. I do that because I not, not only do I like flavor, but I like clouds. So we're going to go ahead and get the funnel back over here. And we need to get to says uh, 17 and a half and 17 and a half that looks like 35 to me so yeah we're gonna go ahead and do that boom right on the mark you can see that right there do 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 all right now that we have that here, we've got everything else already done. This is actually a really easy recipe. Now we're just going to pour that all down in here. This happens to be a, a hundred and... Oh, all right. I'm actually going to pour back in here just to make sure that we got... Uh, exactly right but I wanted to get it all down into one area ooh check it out right on the money 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 what's really cool though is you can see the clouds starting to form with the interaction of the chemical right so it'll continue to do that if you let it steep. Now the way I like to steep is warm water bath because you're not trying to cook it, but you want all the flavors to marry up nicely. And a lot of companies will just say let it set for seven days. Okay, but what you also have to know from a culinary aspect is anytime you make tea or coffee, what do you do? You have the addition of hot water. Well. In this case, we are going to use hot water, but it's not going to be in there. Uh, where it's going to be at is uh, uh, on the outside externally. That way it heats it up just enough to get the uh, ingredients in there to start moving around, marry up with one another, and what that ends up doing is giving you a better overall um, flavor. Uh, you know, I always do it that way. Um, and I've found that when I don't do it that way, it's just not the same. And again, we're not trying to cook with it. We just want to get some water in an external, uh, a bigger maybe measuring cup, and you just put that down in there. Make sure the water, you know, I, I like to get it up to boiling because this is going to be at room temperature. So what you'll end up finding out is uh, you'll be somewhere in the 150 to 200 degree area. It's, it's going to, uh, the heat will dissipate, but not before it gets enough heat in there, uh, you know, to get it moving around. Um, you can do it either way. Uh, either way, I still let it set for seven days. Mm. You can do it either way, but, but, all right. Uh, I, I'm telling you, just try it. Now I'm going to put my cap on here. Going to give it a little, a little mixing up. And there you go. We're going to let that set for a while. Having said that, thank you for stopping by. Uh, make sure to uh, please like and subscribe. Um, if you have any additional comments, questions, my information is right here below in my banner. Please go to my YouTube or you're already here. Either way, you're watching my video somewhere in the interface of Facebook and all those other places. But please like, subscribe. Uh, come by, add your opinions. Uh, if you have any additional experiences that you want to go ahead and uh, share, by all means do. Um, that's how we do it, right? So good.
Woohoo! All right, peeps, I'm out of here for today. Again, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Chef Andy, your guy for DIY. Later.